to achieve something that has never been achieved. You have to do something nobody has done before. Mercedes is the inventor of the automobile, and today we're making history again. This has been one of our biggest challenges ever. We will prove that we can drive a thousand kilometers on a single charge. Mission EQXX and Mission XX are part of a much bigger, far-reaching technology program that will change the way we think. Our goal was to develop the most efficient drivetrain, which for an engineer is clear is the most efficient car ever built. But this is the first time that we've created something that will actually hit the road and start breaking records. The Mission XX would show the world that we deliver on our promise. The Vision EQXX is not just a show car program, it's a complete transformation of R&D process of Mercedes-Benz. Ich glaube, es ist ein historischer Moment für uns alle. Heute kommt es drauf an. Wir checken alle Systeme und dann geht's los. Dann starten wir pünktlich um 7 Uhr in 3, 2, we started in uncharted territory, something we had never experienced before, so we all had sleepless nights. There's no certainties. You can never be 100%. Those unknowns, they can bite you. So 100% can't say that. Am I confident we'll make it? Yeah, I'm confident we'll make it. We did all the measurements, um, we ran all the data, all the simulations. I think we make it. When we set out to achieve things, we do it, we go for it. But it can happen anything. Traffic, weather, unexpected events. Much like in racing, you approach it and be as well prepared as you can. But it's the unknowns, it's the surprises, and we'll have to react to those. We are hoping for good weather. It doesn't look all sunshine right now. We hope we don't have snow in the Alps because we want to run in summer tires. Yeah, weather has a big impact. Well, if you want to jump far, you have to come up with crazy ideas. Doing the impossible thing of building an entire vehicle within 18 months, putting the thing on a road and then driving 1,000 kilometers, where we're going to do this. When the EQXX is on the road, we have the Emma, which is an EQP with the EQXX drive train, running in parallel, so we can always compare the data from the EQXX with our data on the test bench. There was a lot of time pressure and, of course, different targets that every group had, and we had to bring them into one product that worked. It's a very, very fine line between success and failure and we have to gauge how hard we can push our development really to hit those targets before you fall off the edge of a cliff and, and it's a disaster. We have here a small auffälligkeit on our dashboard. Also in the first half of the Fahrtäute is the DCDC Wandler ausgestiegen. It's in the moment where he aussteigt, fängt unsere 12 volt battery an langsam leer zu laufen. Das heißt, die Uhr tickt. Also, es ist jetzt die Idee, den DC-DC-Wandler während der Fahrt wieder zu aktivieren. Er startet zwar neu, aber der DC-DC kommt nicht. Wir haben auf Anhieb keinen Erfolg bei der Problemlösung. We had conflict. With targets this ambitious, it's inevitable. How we dealt with that as a team was essential. Ich kann es nochmal probieren. Achtung, jetzt rein. Okay, wir haben einen kompletten Zündungslauf gemacht. DC-DC ist wieder... This mission is a huge challenge for our drivers. I feel they are totally excited and at some point really, really nervous to bring the mission XX home. The biggest challenge for the aerodynamicists was definitely to reach the target of a drag coefficient of 0.17. To drive a thousand kilometers, we could have put a really big battery in the car, but that's not smart. It's certainly not innovative. A standard battery electric car has an efficiency around 90%. The EQXX reaches the incredible number of 95%, which is on Formula E level. In Formula One, we're used to chasing performance and efficiency relentlessly. 
That mindset is very much what we took for EQXX, chasing the ultimate efficiency. One success factor was to bring diverse cross-functional teams like the Formula One team together with the Stuttgart Sindelfingen team to make this project happen. The engineers in Sindelfingen worked closely with the F1 experts in the UK. They bounced ideas off one another, left no stone unturned. The route profile was very diverse. Started here in Sindelfingen and went on the Autobahn up to 140 km an hour. Then we went into the Alps, over the Goddard with steep slopes. And in the mountains you have a lot of recuperation you can use when you go down then to Milan. The Eco X6, you can just actually open us. Then it got sunny and we could use our solar panel. And then finally when you drive down to Cassis, um, you have very small, beautiful routes. And you enter this little town in the harbor. Eight. Also ich zähle die letzten die Nachkommastelle. Wir sind bei acht. Neun. Neun. When we passed the 1,000 km mark, we were just thankful and proud. Proud of the car, proud of the team. I must say I'm not surprised. I knew we were going to make it. It's a confirmation of everything that we stand for and do here in this company. It's proof of the absolute amazing talents that we have the privilege of working with. And it was really one of those moments in life which you just want to keep and secure in your mind. That was a, a moment of pure and strong satisfaction. We did it! We did it! I'm so, so proud of the team achievement here. Everybody contributed here and we made it happen and we created the future of Mercedes-Benz. The teamwork, the, the morale, the spirit has been outstanding. With the road relevance now for electrification, I think that model is cornerstone of how we should work in the future. Failure was not an option for us. We were there to succeed. And we did. But the journey has just begun.